as one of the year's scariest. Two, one. You want to have a better work-life balance while making a great income? Yeah. You want to retire yeah. in your 40s instead of your 60s? Yeah. Watch this video until the end. Bye. What's, What's up, up JK5 and we back with, with another, another scary video. <laughs> Yeah, bro, you have to stop that, bro. I'm excited, guys. Today is a beautiful Sunday, guys, and we decided, obviously, every Sunday we're going to release a nice spooky, scary bro. video. You know, and the last one we did caca, bro, with uh, piñatas the there. The piñata, the little devilish mother... Ah! Too much out of the freaking shit. Yo, Jesus Christ, man. And on Saturday, which was... No, sorry, Friday night, we played... Um, Phasma, phobia, phobia, something like that. That was cool, that was... Uh, Helen Martinez. Bro, what is that? It's me, bro. Uh, bro, I'm leaving. Bro, yo, 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 back bro, 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 bro. Casa, bro, don't leave me. Bro, Casa, bro, don't leave me there. This is white shit, bro. Casa, bro, don't leave me, bro. You didn't hear the person, bro. Yeah, bro. Bro. Yo! Bro, bro. Clip of it on the gaming with the bros. If you guys want to get spooked so out today, by CS, bro, get scared. We're but... doing top 10 scariest ghost videos of the year. Shout out to you guys for always giving the love. Shout out to Gary for always giving us the That's love it, for, for, and videos that we need this to do is for this. from 2019, bro. So this is 2019. Let's get into it, bro. You ready? Oh, bro, yeah. Let's do caca, bro. Right, remove that ad and pop it in. Let's go. This, this happened. The voice, bro. It's good. Top 10 scariest ghost videos of the, of the year. I've been getting many requests for our, quote, scariest clips from all of the top five lists. So I figured that this would be the perfect time to feature some of my personal favorites from the last year. And I'll also tell you what I thought was particularly terrifying about each one. And in some cases, a few extras that weren't in the original video. So, turn off the lights, go full screen, and let's get to it. Whoa! Dorm Room Ghost. No, no. A student at Texas A&M University claims that his dorm room was so intensely haunted that he had no choice other than to just move out. Ooh, I like that, huh? Now, whether you believe this video is real or simply an elaborate hoax, I've yet to hear a plausible explanation for how that flying mattress effect could be achieved. So the video definitely deserves its spot in the top 10. Playhouse Ghost. Phil Koch usually investigates haunted places along with his group, the Wisconsin Paranormal Society. We should do a JK Bros Paranormal. We go hunting? Yo, sure enough. That's up. all you, bro. Good luck, bro. I can't do it without my bro. Nah, no, bro. No, guys, that's white people guys, shit. Guys, you fall into the white people. Comment bro. down below if you want the JK Bros this summer to start hunting for We ghosts. don't have hunting stuff here, bro. We got mics, we got this, we got the cameras, bro. We got But it. we don't have hunting. Hopefully, like, you know, we can start getting gear and stuff. You we know? can go to a haunted house, like uh, like amusement park. Bro. He investigate haunted places along with his group, the Wisconsin Paranormal Society. But on this investigation of the Alchemist Theater in Bayview, Wisconsin, Popeyes. Bill decides to- You saw that? Popeyes! 
But on this investigation of the Alchemist Theater. Oh, Popeyes. We don't have this in Canada, we only in Ottawa. Only, only yeah, Ottawa. only one part of Canada. In Bayview, Wisconsin, Bill decides to go it alone to investigate the allegedly very haunted playhouse. Ha! This is the theater. I got a camera set up in this corner here. And uh, I'm just gonna sit. We got a furnace running, so there's sound, but I'm just gonna sit and uh, listen. And just let the camera grab. Just let the camera roll. And, uh, oh, I don't know, let's see what happens. Move behind me. Jeez. Camera too now, nice. Whoa. Something just moved behind me. Jeez. Okay. Oh, it's like what movie are you watching, buddy? <laughs> what are you watching, dude? He's like, oh, I wanna watch too, bro. What's up, man? That seat was down. Bill catches the theater chair that seems to unfold all on its own. He's slightly disturbed by the occurrence, but it's nothing but compared to what he move? finds in the hallways of the theater's creepy basement. Yeah, okay, bro. It's 115. I haven't heard anything. This is white people, bro. I haven't even gone in back the basement. To check on, the, on this prop, it's there. I keep hearing things walking around, but that's probably tenants upstairs. So. It sounds like from upstairs, but there might be people up there. All right. I still, it's uh, 125. I still haven't heard anything besides random creaking. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? Hi. Uh, besides the people upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm going to look, see if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Come on. See if this prop is still back here again. And we'll take a look. Come on. That, that's not cool. No. Just say hi low to the ghost, bro. Boy, it's cool, buddy. Have coffee with the ghost. No. The door was open. That yeah. door was closing. And he's Open going it, back. Everybody. He's going back. He's go if anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, jeez. It was all a joke. I'm gonna kick, kick your ass. ass. He's Seriously. gonna kick an ass of a ghost, bro. How can you do that? How can you kick an ass of a ghost if it's gonna go through? Are you joking with me? <laughs> what the fuck was that, man? If anybody's in there messing with me, I'm gonna kick your ass. I can't kick your ass, bro. Oh, oh shit, Jesus. bro. Jesus Christ, bro. Hello. Okay, I don't see anything in here. Talk. Yeah. Hello. Stay inside! Hey. Oh. 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 Understandably, Phil Cotts didn't do many ghost investigations after this video, but in my opinion, this is still one of the creepiest and perhaps the funniest ghost clips it is, featured it this is. year. <laughs> The House of Khalil. 
Come in. I featured Jordanian explorer Ihab Hasmia in another video, and for good reason. Oh, he has some of the creepiest oh, ghost hunting videos online. So cute. In this video, he is investigating a place he calls the House of Khalil. As the story goes, a man named Khalil went insane and did away with his entire family in this house before ending his own life. It is said that Khalil's spirit still haunts the home. As he explores, a hab no, I, I can hear, bro. Oh. begins to hear strange noises. And then this. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimat Allah al-Tamat. Min sharr ma khalaq. Ya, kull ishi. Ye, 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 ye. Ahab sees something that looks like a person peering through the window. But when he runs inside to check, nothing. But the creepy occurrences don't stop there. Oh. Ahab doesn't even seem to notice some of the bizarre events that he catches on camera. At one point, it actually looks like a face is peering at him through a nearby window. Ahab decides to leave and investigate another abandoned house that is directly upstairs from the first one. But he feels like the ghost or jinn of Khalil might have followed him. As he investigates the house, he begins to feel like he can see something lurking behind him in the mirrors. Is there anything here? You see something or not? Yeah, okay. Go home, bro. Go home, bro. It's a mistake. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. It's getting a headache. Headache. Very painful. Very painful. Very painful. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit. With the gin. Bro, I hate when you do that. Why do you do that, bro? No! In the name of Allah. In the name of Allah. Okay, bro, this is, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's like some movie shit, this bro. This is what, bro? What is it? The Omen, bro? What's remember Omen? Omen? What's she remember? Close? Of course, bro. But the light just moved by itself, bro. Yeah, it's very... It's, it's, uh, it's good? Yeah, it's like very not steady. It's no white people shit No, no, we're here, cool, bro. we're cool. Bismillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. A'udhu bi kalimat Allah al-Tamat. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Pray, bro, pray, pray. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. And after that chilling experience. Ahab decides to just make a quick exit. Pretty much. Since Ahab's video was featured, his channel has gained over four times the subscribers he had originally. And he's now at 220,000 subscribers. Bravo, I've seen many supposed supernatural channels trying to fake or imitate his ghost in the mirror video. But none match up to the downright chilling original. Unwelcome Shit, that guests. Was fucked up, bro. This next clip was sent in to me by John Plymel. He says that he and his friend Alan were checking out an abandoned farmhouse near his grandmother's home in upstate New York. As you can see, the house is isolated. It sits in the middle of nowhere on a barely traveled back road. The outside looks like something right out of a horror movie. And the inside looks is like no better. House, the house is a death trap full of rot and mold. The upstairs floor is so rotten the two are afraid to even try to venture up the stairs. No way. Don't do it. And the basement is piled with garbage. Yo, I guess that's it. Oh, hey, sorry. Ever wondered what it's like to ride in a self-driving car? 
Well, come along and I'll show you. Oh, and I'll also answer the question that's probably top of your mind right now. If this revolution is going to be Okay, close this so big, video because no one it? sleeps while driving, bro. You'll be able removed. to ride in one of these things. As a technology and investment Skip. reporter, I've ridden... He's a, he's a technology or a vest... I don't know what. That's the basement? Yeah, that's disgusting. What it's just piled hell? up trash. Hey, bro. But then... They hear something upstairs. Yeah, you don't go upstairs. You're hearing that, right? Like random footsteps? Look at the floor. Oh. If somebody was up there, they would fall through. Bro, I'm getting cold. You can see spitting. Yo. I'm going through the bathroom. I'm... Bro! Bro, what the fuck, man? See? Bravo! This is not white people shit, bro. They left. I like how they call their mom. They left, bro. Now, it's interesting to note that one of the boys mentions that the floor is so rotten that if someone were upstairs, they would fall right through. Because when I was watching the video, I noticed this. It would fall through. Bro. Through one of the narrow, rotten holes in the floor, it almost looks like someone is staring down at them from above. Or maybe it's just an optical illusion. Yo. Either way, the boys did not return to investigate <laughs> further. Bro, it's mine. No white people. Bro. No, it's mine. The screams, bro. The screams. The fact that John didn't see this strange eye peeking at them at the time. Oh, I saw it now. What happened? Well, I said John didn't realize it, so I'm like, I saw it now. The fact that John didn't see this strange eye peeking at them at the time or even when he watched his own video back later, makes the clip especially unnerving. Hider in the house. This is good. A man is hired to remodel an empty house for resale. But as he works, he begins to hear strange noises coming from somewhere inside. He suspects that a squatter might have taken up residence in the empty home. Doing this cabinet crown. And I think there's a squatter in this house. Oh, it looks like your sister's place back in the days. I think it's in here. Right. It looks like your sister's place back in the days. Oh, the old house. Yeah. Hello. 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 The basement. Why by a basement, bro? Why? Why always the basement? basement? Hello. Oh. Hello? This is how fast YouTube is with Brave. Notice how there's no pre-roll ads? Okay, bro. And here's how you can see how- Okay, relax. Anybody here? The family, the Jakey family's here. Hello? Hello? Hello! It's a nice house. Yeah, it's a gorgeous house. Hello? The door was in. The heck is that? Hello? Go downstairs, bro. bro. The guy's gangster, though. Yeah, I know. He's a girl. Bro, the guy opened the door. Bro, I was like, bro, who is this, bro? 
Yeah. He's ready to bro. Let's go, bro. <laughs> but straight up though, he yo, he's he's he pumped, man. Bro, put it back, bro. I don't think he believes in that kind of stuff, you know? No, I know. <laughs> I think he thinks it's somebody, you know? I know. Hello. <laughs> Bro, the ghost got scared, bro. He's like, yo, fuck, he's real with the guy. Who is it? He went downstairs running? No, he got the fuck out. Oh, the camera, bro. It fell. How can you drop a camera into your phone, bro? I think he's not gangster after all. Who is it? <laughs> the ghost is like, oh, let me take a selfie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you see me, guys? No, that's bad, bro. In the bottle, bro. Eventually, the man works up the courage to come back and retrieve his dropped phone. The carpenter says that he will never go back inside the house again. He claims, quote, there is something evil in that home. Whether there's something evil in the house or not, the suspense in this video keeps you on the edge of your seat right till the end. Yeah, big time. So that's why it earns a spot in the top yeah. 10 scariest yeah. ghost videos of the year. This. A place uh, of nightmares. Yeah, bro. Over a six month period, Colombian Twitter user Don Paramo recounted a very chilling story which took place in his new apartment. Paramo's spooky Twitter tale starts when he moves into a new apartment with his cat Octavio. W. Hello. He was amazed that he had been able to find such a spacious, fully furnished apartment with a private balcony for such a low price. But things soon took a turn. That's the number one thing, bro. If it's a nice place and it's a low price, you don't get it, bro. American Horror Story, bro. Season one, bro. But I got a nice place and a low price. Ah! Bro, that was so, so bad, bro. Yeah, no, that delete the channel. Bro. He was amazed that he had been able to find such a spacious, fully furnished apartment with a private balcony for such a low price. Yeah, I remember that part with the low but price. things thing. soon took a turn toward the bizarre. His cat Octavio, who is usually very friendly and gentle, becomes withdrawn and aggressive. Paramo finds objects move from one place to another and starts to hear strange sounds at night, especially in his bedroom. Oh my god. Me olvidé contarles lo de la cama. Resulta que me mudé acá y pues como les dije, habían los muebles, estaba esta una cama de cedro y resulta que dos veces me he despertado porque escucho que alguien ronca durísimo a mi lado. Y pues cuando me despierto, pues obviamente nadie puede estar roncando porque pues porque vivo solo, pero los ronquidos se escuchan durísimo. Don Paramo even says that sometimes he wakes up feeling as if someone has nudged or touched him in his sleep. He talks to a neighbor and learns that a mentally disturbed man named Tito passed away in his apartment. He died in the very same bed that Don Paramo has been sleeping in. The man's body wasn't found by the landlord until weeks after his death. By this time, on his Twitter account, Don Paramo has built up a large following. After many audience requests, he decides to do a live Periscope stream from his apartment. What happens on the live stream shocks everyone viewing to their core. First, everything is going fine. Don Paramo gives a casual live tour of his home. But three minutes into the stream, things take a turn towards the horrific. 
y más cosas. Y lo otro que encontré nuevo fue como un, un hueco que hay en la parte en la parte de afuera. Por la parte de la terraza hay una especie de hueco que no sé a dónde va. No, bro. Bro, the guy was sleeping on his bed, bro. No, bro. Yeah, bro, he was chilling, bro. Look. Fue como un, un hueco que hay en la parte en la parte de afuera. Por la parte de la terraza hay una especie de hueco que no sé a dónde va y se los voy a mostrar. Did you see it? Did you see it? Watch again. There, 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 there. I don't know, bro. As Don Paramo passes by his bedroom, someone or something seems to be lying in his bed. Something dark and terrifying. Paramo doesn't even notice and continues his house tour. Later, when he returns to the bedroom, the bed is empty and there is no evidence that anything was ever there. No, no acá no hay nada. Pues Octavio estaba aquí, pero se salió nada más. Yo salí. Bueno. Don Paramo's story about the strange feeling that someone was sleeping next to him, and then this dark shape in his bed makes for one of the creepiest stories and one of the strangest live feeds I've ever seen. The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine is always a viewer favorite here on the channel. But this particular video really seemed to put a fright into many viewers, ranking it as one of the year's scariest. Two, one. You want to have a better work-life balance while making a great income? Yeah. You want to retire yeah. in your 40s instead of your 60s? Yeah. yeah. Watch this video until the end. Bye. <laughs> we saw this, no? No, we saw the one the, before. This is new. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the cat. Okay, yeah, the cat was there he is. In the window again. Went under the bed. Yeah, we saw this, guys. No, but we didn't see this part. Oh, yeah, it's true. I'm sure we didn't see this part. Someone commented about it. Alright, I'm out of here. Now, if you're wondering why Kent's reaction is so casual in a situation that would absolutely horrify most of us, well, he says he's had hundreds of these bizarre encounters while living in his haunted home. Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my god! God! No! Oh! To see all of Kent's ghost investigations, check out his channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. The Cage. In the small town of St. Osseth so. in Essex, yeah. UK, there is a very old abandoned prison called The Cage. The prison is unique in that for over 400 years, it served as a jail to confine and execute women convicted of witchcraft. Paranormal researcher Brian Mack and his crew went to the site to perform an investigation into the supposed supernatural activity in the prison. While there, the crew said that they heard strange footsteps and whispers, lights turned on and off by themselves, and members of the crew were bitten or pinched by something that they couldn't see. The experience was so frightening that some crew members actually your refused game to yesterday. Yo, my game, bro. Not your game, man. Our bro, game, it was bro, my machine, bro. It was acting up. Bro. It was, yo, we tripped out and you died, no? I died. Yeah, bro. but guys, yo, the video is good. I'm yeah. gonna post it this week for sure. The experience was so frightening that some crew members actually refused to continue with the investigation. But the creepiest and most bizarre experience of all came when Brian Mack's team attempted to perform a seance while Brian observed from the other room. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. Is it true? Oh, that is weird, man. Oh, As the seance begins, one of the women's face seems to transform and contort in a horrifying way. Her nose seems to grow and her mouth curves into a bizarre, inhuman grin. Face has completely changed, doesn't even look like a person. Right, Debbie, you need to come down here for a minute, please. The researchers become worried and call the woman out of the room. It was later found that even though the woman had been wearing several layers of thick clothing, she had a bizarre burn mark down the back of her neck. After the investigation, the woman says that she had horrible nightmares, 
and experience strange things around her home. As for why this video was included in the scariest videos list, well, this face. And I think that's all the explanation needed. When horror becomes horror. Bro, I think she got possessed. I should follow her, bro. Yeah, like the exorcist stuff there, the movies, she got possessed, bro. This is, bro, this is bullshit, bro. Yeah, that's the only reason I don't want to do that fucking, like, what? like do it, you know, like, go find ghosts. I don't want that shit. But you, you said it before you want to go do ghosts, bro. Go, 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 go. And then your face is going to be like Various that. Videos bro. Bro, your face is already like that, bro. You're going to be like this, bro. The ghost is going to be scared of you, bro. Just put the book in your hand, bro. like this, bro. <laughs> What's bro, up, G? Go, press yeah. play, well, bro. This face. And I think that's all the explanation needed. When horror becomes horror. This next clip was sent in to me by Andrew Barahona, a filmmaker for Board Film Studios. Andrew was filming a scene for a horror movie in the historic and allegedly very haunted Doña Ana County Courthouse in New Mexico. In the scene they are filming, the actress Chelsea is meant to be acting overcome with fear, because in the movie scene a killer is supposed to be stalking her through the building's hallways. But acting frightened soon turns into very real terror. Filmmaker and the actress are the only ones on the third floor of the courthouse, but suddenly a startling and very real door slam can be heard from somewhere nearby. <laughs> then both of them hear some very odd whispering that sounds like it's right in the room with them. And so at the time, I had the camera in my hand, and I almost reacted immediately when I heard it. It was like it was next to me. And so uh, she said she saw something behind me, and we just booked it. Now, of course, since this clip came from a professional filmmaker, I was especially skeptical. But I think the footage, along with their very believable reactions, speaks for itself. A terrifying tour. This next video is especially unique because it doesn't involve your typical group of ghost hunters. This video was taken by Adelaide's Haunted Horizons Ghost Tours. This tour group is exploring the supposedly haunted Talem Town Church in South Australia. The people that you see in this video are all random tour participants, not paranormal researchers. They have no reason to fake their reactions. Well, I guess so, they... first the tour group's camera and light batteries begin to drain mysteriously. Then very strange things begin to happen to the tour participants. This is OutSystems, the only full-stack development platform where you can focus your talent on developing great apps, easily create mobile and web applications, chatbots, and reactive web apps oh, that's for cool. any- Oh, that's cool, now you can do sales and stuff. Oh, fuck. He's let that shit. just a bit unstable or perhaps having a bad day, well, he's not the only tour member who has a very frightening experience. Just stop tours completely. That way. 
guess he didn't want to come back. Because What's going on? it would spoil the game. It's more like something past me again. Yeah. Oh, your head is shaking like crazy. That's how I have been since I came in here. I feel sick. You feel sick as well? Yeah. I thought sick when I felt sad when I was saying Well, we can either keep got going or we can call it a quick. No, I think this is what you're sitting here. Is this what you've come for? Yeah, it's what we signed up for. This is quite an active time in here. Later in the video, in another area of the church, a tour member says he feels like he's been hit hard in the shoulder by some unseen force. Unfortunately, the camera only catches the audio of the event. No, it should be up the front. Where is the scratch? On my shoulder. See this here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look how well it shows up on this. Oh, yeah. Just find that photo. Yeah. That's going to be better oh, wow. than uh, oh, wow. any other. I'll, I'll just hold it up for a second. Look at that, Ryan. Oh. Are you sort of freaked out by that? Because I'm like really. <laughs> Jesus. But in the end, no worries. All of the Ghost Tour participants made it out okay. Now, none of these people were so-called professional ghost hunters. They were simply tourists. So they had nothing to gain from acting scared. Making this video one of the most believable pieces of paranormal evidence I've ever seen and earning it a top spot. So that's the top 10 scariest videos of the year. As always, I'm certainly not trying to convince you that any of the clips are real. So it's up to you. Are these real ghosts caught on camera? Or is each and every one of them just an elaborate hoax? You decide. <laughs> bro, the guy's I'll see you next bro. year with even more brand new creepy Yo, ghost guys, videos. Okay, guys, In the meantime, if you see something that would be perfect for the top five or... Yo, I mean, it's, it's disturbing. It's it disturbing. disturbing. It's questionable. It's... It's... Is it real? Is it fake? I don't know, bro. Like the sleeping person, like that could have been a. The, a I don't know. A, about this. The guy apparently grows his, his social very fast, so uh, you have to maybe do something action or something. I don't know, I man. I don't know. But the girl that got possessed. That was messed up, bro. That was messed up. That was messed up. Uh, the Arab guy there. Oh my god, bro. That was a scary. That was scary. I mean, that, there's some really good moments in here, and obviously, uh, the last one, it was more of a real theme, right? Like, that felt real. Yeah, because it was the like, real people. You sign up to that. Exactly. We should sign up. Definitely not. But, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for enjoying a beautiful Sunday you with guys us. Guys, let us on... know more for next Sunday. Yes. We want to do caca. We want to do caca. We yeah. did a bit of caca, not too much caca. We no, I didn't really... do caca, bro. But you, yo, you scrammed like a little baby, bro. Yeah, that. but you did. No, you did, bro. No, you did, bro. Guys, let us but know guys, who scrammed the know. most. If you're new to this channel, make, make sure, sure to subscribe, like, comment, the whole package. But to JK Bros, we gotta go. See you on the next video.